Hello students, it's me Durga Bhattrai and I'm back again with the subject English grade 3. First of all, I would like to welcome you in our online virtual class. And today we are going to read a kind gorilla unit 6, right? Okay, now I'm going to read the story. Have you been to a zoo? Have you ever been to a zoo? Do you think the animals in a zoo dislike human beings? Read this story and find out. In this story, we, we would find out that if the animals in a zoo dislike human beings, human, okay, I'm going through the story. One day, a little boy and his mother went to a zoo. Suddenly, the boy ran ahead of his mother. Before anyone could stop him, the boy climbed over the four foot railing around the gorilla exhibit. One day, a little boy, children, child, went the zoo with his mother and he go in front of, a, of his mother and climb the railing around the gorilla exhibit. Someone shouted, look, the boy is climbing the railing. Someone shouted, look, the boy is climbing there. As the visitors watched helplessly, the little boy dropped 18 feet into the gorilla pit. They all were helplessly because the boy was far away from them. His head hit the concrete floor with a thump and he lay motionless. Then he fell down from, the, from there and he became motionless. Here in this picture, you can see gorillas and the little boy. Seven gorillas lived in the pit. They heard that thump and went to find out what it was about. The first gorilla to reach the boy was Binti, a mother gorilla with a baby gorilla on her back. As Binti picked up the boy, the other gorillas came towards her. Binti turned away from them and held on to the child. They are in the pit. Seven gorillas live there. They heard the sound boy falling from up and went to find out what was happened. The first gorilla to reach the boy was Binti. Binti was first who went to the boy. A mother gorilla with a baby gorilla on her back and she has also a baby. As Binti picked up the boy, the other gorillas come, came towards her. Binti turned away from them and held onto the child. Other gorillas also came to, to the Binti. But she go away from other gorillas. A few zookeepers were having lunch near the gorilla exhibit. One of them cried, look, Binti is holding a human child. It isn't moving or making a sound. How do we save the child? asked everyone. Then two keepers were having a lunch there and they said that, look, Binti is um, holding a human child and that child was not moving anymore. How do we save the child? Now they would think about this. Asked everyone, we should not frighten the animal. She is strong and can easily hurt the boy. They said, we should not frighten the animal. See, if we frighten, then she will hurt him. They, the zookeepers were said, the zookeepers were also not sure what the other gorillas might do. Would they try to take the boy from Binti? Would they injure him? No one had answered to this question. Then zookeepers was also not sure. Why? Because they think that would they try to other gorillas might try to take the boy from Binti? Would they injure him? They think like that. Someone had the idea of spraying water between Binti and the other gorillas. The other gorillas wouldn't cross the ba water barrier. Everyone watching the scene wondered what would happen next. Binti was taking good care of the child. The zookeepers had to find a way to take the child from Binti safely. And someone had the idea to spray water between Binti and the other gorillas. 
to save the child. Everyone watching the scene wonder. Everyone watching the scene very curiously. Why? Because the Binti was taking care of the human child. Right? She was good take care. And that time the zookeepers had to find a way to take the child from and zookeepers also try to find the way to take the child from Binti. Suddenly Binti started walking towards the door to the gorilla exhibit carrying the boy in her arms. Everyone held their breath to their surprise Binti placed the child on the floor right next to the door and suddenly Binti started walking through the gorilla exhibit door and she placed the child there and she returned back from there and then all the people were surprised and they were feel okay now the little boy was safe the zookeepers opened the door gently and lifted the child out of the exhibit a team of doctors was already there then the zookeepers opened the door and and lifted the child out of the exhibit and they take the child out of from the gorilla pit doctors was already there and then doctor arrived there they checked the boy of sign of life he was breathing he was still alive oh he is still breathing he is alive the ambulance rushed him into a nearby hospital he had a serious injury but he recovered fully boy had a serious injury but he recovered fully did binti know that the child was injured and he needed help is that why she put him near the door so that the humans could take care of him or was she protecting the child from the other gorillas maybe both we will never know this question comes all of the people's mind and that question answer didn't know about anyone okay i hope you understand this story try to read the story and do all the acti activities given there okay today's this much i will come back again and okay bye